Spray foam insulation was originally developed in order to lessen the workload of insulating large commercial buildings. Over the last 10 years or so, this method of insulating has been migrating over to private residential buildings as well. Why? It's easier, it's faster, and it creates better insulating properties. Spray foam insulation starts out as a liquid, two liquids in fact. When these liquids are introduced to each other, they combine to form a resin that expands and fills the targeted area completely. Within a few hours, the resin cures and excess can be cut away, leaving a perfectly insulated structure. An entire 2,500 square foot house can be completely insulated in a matter of a few hours and construction can resume. With spray foam insulation, there is no traveling back and forth to your insulation pile to get more in order to keep going. Spraying is almost continuous. Short stoppages only occur when the machine being used needs to be refilled or moved. As the resin cures and expands, it fills all tiny cavities allowing virtually no room for air movement something traditional bat insulation simply can't achieve. There are two basic types of spray foam insulation, open cell and closed cell. Open cell spray foam insulation provides an insulating capacity of R 3.5 per inch of thickness, and closed cell provides R 6.8 per inch. Compare that with fiberglass bats, which supply R 2.4 per inch, and it's obvious to see why spray foam insulation pays for itself in heating costs very quickly. So when you do your next renovation or complete house build, make sure that you get the benefits that are available from using spray foam insulation.